Hello friends today we are going to talk about four simple ratios which will help you analyze profitability of any company before we go there let us understand how many types of ratios are there so there are total five types of ratios which are used to analyze company's balance sheet or financial position or profitability first one which we are going to talk about in detail today profitability then we have liquidity ratios which gives us more detail about the overall liquid position of the company then we have turnover related ratios which gives information about operational efficiency in the company then we have solvency related ratios which will tell you whether the company is going to go bankrupt or not in next few months or years and finally we have valuation related ratios there are two types of profitability ratio first one margin based ratios which will tell you whether the margin of the company is aligned to what other companies are earning or not and whether it is sufficient or not second is return based ratio as an investor if you are investing in a company is this company giving right returns from a profit standpoint so we will take a sample balance sheet and a profit and loss account to look at what these four ratios are so this is how a typical profit and loss account looks like starts with revenue in this example revenue is 200 crores then gross profit gross profit is uh, revenue minus all direct expenses direct labor direct material then we have uh, admin expenses depreciation interest expenses uh, which leaves us with profit before tax in this case it is 30 crores and then profit after tax of 20 crores similarly we have a balance sheet which has both assets and liabilities on the liability side we have equity share capital and accumulated reserves these are reserves that the company has accumulated over a period of time then we have non current liabilities liabilities that the company has to pay after one year and then current liabilities which the company has to honor within next one year similarly on the asset side we have non current assets comprising of plant and machinery and other uh, assets and then current assets which the company is going to realize in next one year with this example let's take our first ratio gross profit percentage gross profit percentage is nothing but gross profit divided by total revenue of the company it will tell you what percentage of profit a company is making after reducing all the direct cost related to production now in our example company had 200 crores of revenue 100 crores of direct cost and then it was left with 100 crores of gross profit so this company is making a 50% gross margin so now gross margin will help you understand what percentage of company's cost are direct cost and how much money it is going to be left with uh, to meet all its indirect expenses like sales marketing depreciation interest and other cost talking about the next one which is really critical net profit percentage now this is nothing but net profit divided by total revenue of the company and it shows what is the profit margin which is there for this company so in our example this company is making 20 crores of profit on a revenue of 200 crores so that shows that company is operating at a 10% margin which is margin after reducing all the cost direct cost and indirect cost from its revenue again this has to be looked at in the context of the sector in which the company is operating talking about the next one which is return on assets now this is an important one this will tell you how much money a company is making as compared to its total assets in our example the company had total assets of 650 crores and by investing in assets for 650 crore this company was making a profit of 20 crore so on whatever assets which are there company is earning a return of 3% now whether that 3% is good or bad would again depend on the sector in which company is there in case of capital intensive sectors these percentage is really low but in case of uh, labor intensive sectors or sectors like it this percentage is really high because they do not really have big assets on the balance sheet but when you are comparing a company you should definitely look at other companies in the same sector to see whether this company is generating enough return on its assets. set as compared to its peer as compared to some of the other players in the same sector the last one which is the most important one is return on equity so this will give you what is the total return that a company is earning on its equity and it is not dependent on the revenue that the company is making not dependent on uh, the overall operating margin or the gross margin but net net in the end what what returns this company is generating versus the equity which has been infused in the company in our example the company had total equity of 250 crores and total profit of 20 crores so the investors the shareholders have invested 250 crores in the company and they are getting a return of 
eight percent, which is twenty divided by two fifty. I mean, this is one ratio which can be applied across sectors, and you can analyze whether you are generating enough returns or not. So when you are making investment decisions, this is one percentage that you should definitely keep in mind. Companies which give higher return on equity have much higher potential of uh, growth versus companies which have lower return on equity. And as I said, this ratio can be applied across companies in multiple sectors, and you can do this comparison like how much our shareholders earning in the end. and finally from from this company so these were the four important ratios that will help you analyze companies from a profitability standpoint you should definitely look at these ratios before you make investment decisions in any company hopefully you will learn something new today thank you jai hind